So yeah, I'm just gonna. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the Silent Tour. Hi, guys. Today I'm gonna be doing a like part four. I'm gonna be doing a like part four to the Trouble Slime Slime Challenge, y'all. So guys, I made this challenge up like a while ago because I always, I always look at this travel size stuff. It's so freaking cute. There's like tiny miniature versions and stuff like that. Like what the heck, it's so cute. I love it so much, so I got a bunch and I made slime with it and it was the best freaking thing ever. So anyways guys, I was passing by the travel size sex train and I found a bunch of new things and I'm very, very excited to show them to you guys. And also guys, I'm gonna be having another meet and greet and I'm so freaking excited to meet you guys. So please, please, please make sure you're, you're there. And it is gonna be July 28th at around 3 p.m. at Castles and Coasters and there will be some giveaways, slime giveaways and ticket giveaways. And it's also gonna be kind of dedicated to my brother Charlie's 21st birthday. So yeah, please make sure Make sure you're there and you guys can bring gifts if you want for Charlie. But um, yeah, we'll have more information about the description down below. And today's like with Chance, we Trevor Slay, but with your chin and let's get straight on into the video. What yo? Okay, guys, I got that was a lot of a lot, a lot of new stuff. A lot of new stuff. So I got freaking hair gel. I love this. This is like one of my favorite slime ingredients, guys, because it saves any slime that you overactivate, and I overactivate a lot of slimes because I get impatient. <laughs> so yeah, this is a lifesaver. I I also got some shampoo because I wanted to try it out. Some mousse because I've been using it a little bit lately, so I really wanted to get this. It's so cool. It's kind of like a shaving cream bottle. And then also some Vaseline. It's not really new, but I wanted to try it out. And some shaving gel. It's not new, but I wanted to try it out too. So guys, let's get started. Okay, so first, I don't know what we're gonna make, but we're just gonna make something. I know I'm gonna put mousse in this one. I wanna try and put mousse. Also, I'm gonna make it red. Okay, so I put some red. And now I'm gonna put some of this uh, morning burst facial scrub. I feel like this will kind of make it like foamy, fluffy type deal. So I'm just gonna put a a little bit of that. And now I'm gonna put some mousse. I've been really wanting to use this mousse. It's a tiny freaking mousse for God's sakes. And we got this tiny spoon from a slime kit I got. I thought it was perfect because I can't find my tiny spoons anymore. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of <laughs> shaving cream in there. Okay, and then I'm going to add some contact lens solution that I put in this bottle. I know, sick, right? By the way, if you guys are probably like, what the heck is she doing? Why is she just putting contact lens solution? It's because the shaving cream and contact lens solution activates slimes. So yeah, you can use that as activator. Okay, I am all done, guys. Oh, look at that, yas. They actually give it a really, really cool texture. Like, I really like it. Like, it's a kind of like soft, fluffy slime, but it's not like super, super fluffy. It's just like a really nice, fluffy, you know? <laughs> yes. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in the container really quick. Whoopsies. Oh, it seems like I made just the amount. Thank goodness. I guess I'll put that into my collection. We'll do the slides really at the end. Make sure you stay there. Wait, what did I say? <laughs> so, all right, guys, so we're done with this slime. Um, next thing I want to do is make a little travel slime kit. Okay, so I found this box. It's like 98 cents, and they are so cute. They got like, before they had like these dark blue, dark pink, and it was like all dull and ugly, but now they have freaking like neon orange, neon green, neon pink, neon something else. I think it might be blue, but they're so freaking cute, so I decided I had to get one. So I decided, why don't I use that as a travel size slime kit? These are awesome when you're um, doing, if you're like on a road trip. Okay, so for this one, I'm gonna put hair gel. Shaving cream, does that fit? I hope it fits, guys. Put some of that. These are too fat, too. Okay, now I'm gonna put the activator. Boop. And uh, some food coloring. I'm gonna put black. And some glitter, guys. Put the glitter right there. And then the containers, I wanna try and fit them up here. Okay, yeah. Maybe we could do some engineering really quick. Two thousand years later. That's right there. Ta -da! And then you just go ahead and get some tape. You tape that on top of there. You know, maybe a couple boxes like that. But guys, we got a travel size side kit right here. Look at that. That is amazing. Let's see how easy that opens. Because it's really packed. Okay, there we go. That took a while. I think that was actually that was a lot more sturdy than I was expecting. I think this would be awesome to take to like a hotel, guys. You take it to a hotel, you do the hokey pokey. No, you don't do the hokey pokey. Don't. But I think it's amazing. Okay, let's go ahead and make the slime. So we got our little container right here. If you don't want to make a mess, you can make the slime in here. What I want to make is a black, gray, I don't know what color it's gonna be. Fluffy slime. Oh, make sure to put your spoons and popsicle sticks. That will probably be easy just to stick in there because it'll go on the side. So we're gonna put some white glue first. And since it's gonna be a fluffy slime, we don't need a lot. Then we're gonna get the shaving cream. And then our black food coloring. Boop. But yeah, this is just turning gray. We're gonna add some more shaving cream, but I'm gonna use this one because it's like more inflated, I guess. 
Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and activate it. Well, I wanted to do a black fluffy slime, but it seems like I'm left with a gray one, which is very sticky for some reason. Maybe it's because of the food coloring. Okay, don't put black food coloring in your fluffy slime. There it is, all done and ready to go. I did make a lot though. Okay, well, I don't really like this one. It kind of dyes my hand and I don't really like it. So yeah, I'm just gonna... guys oh jesus okay so this one has a green container which is really cute i like the color of it okay this time i'm gonna make a clear slime so yeah okay so we're gonna put some clear glue just a little so i am not making a bunch that's this stuff is so annoying and hard to make and then i'm gonna put some mousse oh wait no hair gel try and make it like easier to make i guess and let's start i guess i'll make this one black i want i really i'm i want a black slime guys Get a tiny bit of that. So I decided to put a full drop and I feel like that might have been a bad idea. <laughs> Although it does look pretty cool still, yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna put some gold glitter. This is gold fine glitter and I got this in like a pack at Michael's I think, but they have some at Walmart, just like tiny glitter packs. Okay, that looks oh my God, this is so cool. Uh, I'm gonna use baking soda because I feel like that'd be easier to activate. And I know I didn't put this in my travel size slime kit thing, Matigger, but I could have. I could have just put it in a bag and it would have been really easy, okay? Okay. Now I'm gonna put the contact lens solution. This is definitely activating a lot easier than like with borax or any other type of activator. I'm gonna add a little bit more of the baking soda. Now it really looks like black venom. Look how pretty it is, y'all. Yes, this is the best slime ever. Oh, it smells good. Probably because of the hair gel. Okay, maybe that's why it was easy to make. Okay, now we're gonna put that into here. And ta-da! Okay, now I'm just gonna be making some slimes without the box because I already proved to you guys that I can fit a lot of stuff in there. You can also just get like a backpack and just like put all this stuff because it's all like closed. Just make sure you... I know, you could get a backpack, put all your supplies in there, and then when you're finally done with all your slimes, Get one of these babies and then put all your slimes there in case they open, they'll fall inside That's here. That's super smart. I know, we gotta do that, guys. Comment down below if you guys want me to do that and I will even go inside the car and do it. Okay, next slide, okay. Next slide I'm gonna make, guys, is a, I'm gonna try and make a cloud cream win, so yeah. First, I'm gonna get some white glue where I, I completely lost it. Oh, there it is, okay. Here it is, that should be good. We don't wanna make too much because this is travel size, I realize. <laughs> And I think I'm gonna put some shampoo in it. I forgot. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, anyways, I think I'm gonna put some shampoo in it because I feel like that will, oh my God. I feel like that will kind of makes it like sizzly. I don't know, I kinda just wanna try it. So yeah, I'm gonna mix that into there. Why is it activating? And then I'm gonna make this one orange because I haven't made an orange one. Not as strong food coloring. This is like a tinier version of the slime. You can just like get like a squirt bottle like this or something or like this and like make your own diluted dye and it's like the best thing ever. So I put the shampoo in. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of lotion because that's what you do when you're making cloud cream. That's right, I have a tiny miniature lotion. That's the only lotion that I could find. Okay, and now I'm gonna go ahead and activate it. Um, I kind of wanna activate it with the baking soda because I find it fun. Let's add some of that. And when you're making cloud cream, by the way, guys, you wanna active, over activate this line. Okay, we're almost done, I think. I usually always have such a hard time with the baking soda and contact lens solution recipe, but I'm getting better at it. <laughs> That's all done. That gave me such a different texture. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put some borax on it, though. <laughs> I'm just adding some borax just because it's already made and I just feel like it'll probably like activate it faster. Make the um, insta snow. So I decided to put the. I was gonna put the insta snow in here, but I had an even better idea. Put the insta snow in here. So that way you can get like a spoon and just kind of like shovel it in here, and then you get your water and you activate. Okay. Now we make our cloud cream. This seems like it's turning out pretty cool. I've never made a cloud cream, guys, with uh, the baking soda and contact lens solution solution. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of feel like it's kind of giving it like a different texture. Well, those are actually like halfway. Borax and contact lens solution, solution. Guys, I think it's actually a sizzly. You know, I actually really like the texture of this one. You know, uh, that's probably what made this texture. That's not the contact lens solution and baking soda solution. It's the shampoo I put. Wow, okay, this is amazing. You guys need to put shampoo. Uh, I may look like I need more snow, but actually I was gonna put more, but I keep forgetting that you kind of need to let it set a little bit and it will get bigger. 
just watch guys just watch because sometimes I always freaking like over snow my slimes because it looks like it needs it but really you need to just give it a little bit of time and time will tell <laughs> Okay, well, I did make a sizzly cloud cream, and I am very happy about it. I think it turned out really well. Although, I think, as you guys can tell, I still did put too much so snow, and it's growing, and it's kind of making it, like, not sizzly, not drizzly, I guess. So, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of ultra healing jerkins. <laughs> okay, I think it's getting better now that I add the lotion. Okay, one more sizzle, crackle, lackle, drizzle. I'm done. Thick slime will be using glue all this time. So we're gonna put some glue on. Okay, I'm making it blue. Then I decided I'm gonna put some Vaseline in it because I haven't used that. I feel like the Vaseline will kind of make it like thick. I'm gonna add a little bit of lotion. Let's go ahead and mix that all up together. I wanna use the borax this time. It might be easier to make the slime on this side since it's less, um, because it doesn't have any grip, you know? <laughs> Okay, I'm all done guys, um, here it is. Nah, I feel like I should have added less Vaseline. I did activate it on accident with contact lens solution instead of Borax, and that just kind of watered it down, I think, so this was kind of a fail. But overall, it's pretty, and I like it, and it's also kind of oily, but whatever. Okay guys, can you guess what time it is now? And it's like, okay. First we have this blue slime. And this black slime. Oh, this is the problem I have with the baking soda method. It's always overactivated at the end. Put that right there. Okay, we're gonna put this one now. Guys, this one looks like triphobia. Is it just me? It looks like triphobia? I don't know. <laughs> but I wanna, it does look cool. It looks like one of those foaming charcoal masks. Okay, we're just gonna put like that much of that one because it's gonna like just destroy the whole thing. And then the last one, guys, is the cloud green. I'm gonna put like half because I don't think I have any more space for anything else. All right, let's do this. got overactivated I think because of that uh, one black slime but uh, yeah that was pretty cool I want to do one last thing guys I want to do a little um, mixing of these two because I feel like it will look cool it looks like Halloween slime yeah looks like some type of cat you know those like orange and black cats I've never seen orange I guess like they're black but they have orange eyes I think that's what it is today's video of tell me if you guys want me to do another one to the travel size slime and uh, yeah that is it guys so much and i really, really hope it's in that time bye